Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Sethem and welcome back to another video today. Folks, I'm going to be showing you how to get Black Pearls. So, by the end of this video, you will know how to get Black Pearls and you will not struggle with finding these things. Obviously, there are several ways of getting Black Pearls in the game. One of the more um, challenging ways of getting Black Pearls is, of course, fighting the corrupted creatures. Uh, you will get Black Pearls from the Calicotherium. Rexes, Spinos, Wyverns, Gigas, and so on. You don't get them all the time, and that requires you to go into ridiculously dangerous areas to farm them, which is not feasible from the time that you spent to get them to the amount of Black Pearls that you get. There is a better way of doing it, and that is what this video is about. So if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord links to this of course can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself now I have done a video on the gotchas which is what i am going to be using uh this is a top-up video specifically only for black pearls this is what this is about and nothing else i am going to be covering some stuff that i did show in the previous video as well as to show you how much you can actually get and how effective these creatures are now, in order to get gachas, you need to go into the forest biome and tame them. Obviously, make sure you have an archaeball, as I call them, or, or a cryopod, as the game calls them, so that you can transport them out of there quite quickly. Now, these are amazing creatures for one reason, and that is, and that is of course, because they produce amazing stuff. Some of which, of course, will be gear. Others will obviously be um, resources such as black pearls and silica pearls and just about anything else that you can think in the game. Now, I'm showing you this because I'm using snow owl pellets and stones on these guys. I have already used admin commands to fully level them up so in terms of leveling these creatures up there's only one skill that you guys need to focus on and that is crafting skill now this does increase the amount i believe so do correct me if i'm wrong but it does increase the amount of stuff they produce as well as the quality so another important thing to know about them you want them in pairs now here i have two pairs that produce black pearls I have not set them to produce black pearls as of yet. You do have to go into their radial wheel, select production, and then the item you want them to produce. Otherwise, they will just produce random things, which is what these guys have done here. Another very important thing to know about these creatures is that you want them to be separate from other pairs of gotchas. If they are in close proximity to another pair, they will become unhappy, which will then, of course, affect the amount of resources that they produce, as well as the quality of things that they produce. So I'm just going to show you that these guys have not yet been set to produce Black Pearl, so they will, of course, produce random items. Now, not all gotchas will produce black pearls. You won't have to tame quite a few until you get a pair that produces black pearls. So with that being said and done, you go into the production, select black pearls, that is it. From this point on, they should be producing only black pearls for me. I am quickly going to pick these up because I want to show you guys how many black pearls I will be getting in a ridiculously short amount of time that is to emphasize how easy it is to get black pearls in arc extinction so i'm gonna pick these things up these are the crystals that also yield good resources and in terms of keeping your pairs of gotchas apart you will want to keep them 
at at least 12 foundations apart, I probably would recommend uh, 13, 14, just to be on the safe side. You can tell when they are happy by throwing items at them from your inventory. If they are happy, they will pick up the items. If they are not happy, they will nod their head to indicate no and refuse to pick up the items. Now, obviously, I have sped up time uh, just to show you their production rate. They do produce the crystals at about a uh, crystal a minute. Uh, I do want to keep the video as short as possible. So I'm going to pick up all of these things that I've got here. And I will be opening them all up so that you guys can see exactly how much I have actually obtained. I will also open up the shiny crystals which normally tend to give decent quality items. Obviously, as the black pearls are quite heavy, I am going to open up the vault. I can just drop them there. I'm going to start off with the more unique crystals. So this is what I got from the crystals. Decent stuff. You can get even better things from it. But this is all about black pearls. So let's see how many black pearls we just got. Okay, look at that. Two, four, six, well over 600 black pearls. Now, of course, I did speed up time. And so to show you the amount of pearls that you can actually get in a real time. And yes, my settings for the server is identical to the official. I'm going to go pick up these ones. So in the two minutes that I've been talking... We'll see exactly how many black pearls we can expect. I'll pick that one up as well. Might as well and wait for this one to poop out the other crystal. And then I... Oh, oh hello. <laughs> that was quite quick. <laughs> Did not expect that one. Right, so I'll wait for the crystals to come out. And in these two, three minutes that I've waited for these crystals, I will show you how many I got. Just to give you an idea. The gather rate and all the rates on the server are exactly identical to official servers. So it should be quite a realistic expectation. Look at that. That easy. Also very important with the gotchas. If you do want to have a good production rate, make sure that the ones that you want to produce the resources that you are after are close to you, the player. As they do seem to follow a similar mechanic to the egg-laying dinos in that they tend to produce more crystals when they are close to a player. This is just something I have noticed. I may be wrong, and if I am wrong here, please do correct me. But this is just something that I have noticed. So you will want these guys in a central part of your base where you are going to spend a lot of time as you can see they do produce very good stuff you can get silica pearls you can get absolutely anything in the game now these guys over here they are also a pair one of them produces black pearls which is this one over here and the other one produces silica pearls now i know i said it's all about black pearls but i want to show you how easy it is to get silica pearls as well so I'm just going to pick up all of this and I should probably use a whip. Uh, I don't know why I don't do that. I guess it's, I don't know. I I, I don't have an, uh, an answer for this. Anyways, I'm just going to pick them up like this for now. <laughs> People have told me to use a whip and uh, I'm not doing it, but whatever. I'm going to go to the vault as I am going to be encumbered quite quickly. And I will open up absolutely everything so you guys can see I'm going to start with the rare crystals here. And let's see what sort of gear. That's pretty nice. So obviously I'm going to put it all in a vault here. Uh, just so it does not get mixed up with, with the other items. 
And I'm gonna open that one up. There we go. Ascendant uh, armor. Um, it's not flak. It's ghillie armor. But, uh, not even ghillie. Jesus Christ. Riot armor. So there you go. Look at all of those silica pearls that I got just from one gotcha. Now do bear in mind that the gotchas that I have have all been fully leveled up. And all the points went into crafting skill. But it's that easy. Now I'm going to show you all of the silica pearls that I got through the duration of this video. And this is just through the duration of this video. About a thousand of these black pearls were obtained again through the duration of this video. So that's how easy it is to get these resources. Obviously you can get anything and everything from these guys. Absolutely amazing creatures. And so this is the way from now on that you'll want to farm those black pearls for absolutely everything and anything. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found the information in it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content. And if you have just subscribed to the channel, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And finally, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.